WSU, CZWs, um, and all those all those guys. Um, that's where it's at, you know. And everybody's trying to make it in their own way. And DNA can't apparently. Uh, so mm. I don't know. Like I almost like they should just get a distribution rights with WWE <laughs> and get on the network. It'll be the best exposure they could get right now. I um, think it'll be brilliant. Wouldn't it? Would it be? Yeah. What if? Okay. What if? We, we we posed the question a, a few weeks ago, or maybe I did this in the Hangout. Um, I, I posed this question. Which, which wait, wait, which what question are we talking about? Because I'm talking TNA, about the one. TNA, what's that? TNA joined the network. No, no, that's not the one. That's not the oh, one. Okay. Uh, I, I think we talked to, and I, I might not get the concept in, entirely right that we were talking about, but what if you have your NXTs and then we have. You know, obviously we got we gave props to Ring of Honor recently on WWE.com, um, and I think I was proposing what if there's a farm system that starts developing that there's a lot of smaller NXT sized promotions around the country. So what if we do get we're going to create our own competition, as in we're going to actually support support our own competition, and we let Chikara run on here, we let TNA have a spot on here, and so we are the place you come for wrestling, period. That they become not only the 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 producers, but then they also become the distributors. The dis- mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the distributors. Like, I mean, it's going to kill the hell out of guys like you know maybe me or Smart Mark when they do this with the Chikaras and the Ring of Honors and whoever else is out there that's big enough, like the CZW's baby or something like that. <laughs> um, but what if they do that? And what I mean, what if they they say you know let's snag this or even. You know, not even, you know, snagging those guys, you know, again, go back to the idea of the NXT thing. Well, let's get away from that. Let's go from this whole idea of maybe we just let everybody have a spot, you know. Um, I mean, I think some people have to get outside their own egos as far as some of that stuff, especially on the indie wrestling scene. But what do you guys think of that idea? You know, is it is it that far-fetched? They know we're seeing the development they're doing with this training center in NXT it, you know, why not? Mm-hmm. I'm just picturing CZW on the WWE Network. <laughs> it's like, right now. like, ah, CZ stay tuned Duck. for Cage of Death Duck. at 9 CZ p.m. Duck. tonight. CZ Duck. <laughs> I tell you what, I'd love to see them get a local, dis- uh, an American distribution for. I'd like to see them put new on the WWE Network. You don't even have to dub it over into English commentary or anything like that. Just give me that. That nice, you know, completely incoherent Japanese commentary to go with some New Japan. That'd be great. That'd be all right. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, mm-hmm. you do international stuff. What if the WWE Network starts, like, strikes a deal with AAA to carry it? Or yeah. strikes a deal with New Japan? It strikes a deal with... I don't know. What else is out there, guys? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean... Rinka King. <laughs> oh, Rinka King. Rinka King. There's actually a really good. good discussion about Rinka King on the Sanjay Dett interview mm-hmm. with On Art of Wrestling with uh, Cole Cabana. So, um, that's the other thing is like this whole idea. Like, WWE starting a podcast. Supposedly, Cole Cabana might have been t- in talks with WWE about something such as ring announcing. What, like, WWE is looking for new concepts. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of concepts in wrestling out there. Cole Cabana is involved in like three of them. Um, you know, there's five dollar wrestling on the WWE yeah. Network. There's in there's different. I would there watch the shit out of that. I mean, five dollar wrestling. You've <laughs> already played. Like, wouldn't that be ten dollar wrestling? <laughs> it's only ten dollar okay, wrestling, technically. But you know, what if they reach out to these guys? They they or they develop it. Like I I fully fully expect that Cole Cabana gets hired by WWE and does Art of Wrestling for WWE. WWE.com, WWE Network, maybe he does a panel show or something, you know, where he's like, you know, frank discussions and stuff like that. Um, I can see it. I could mm-hmm. really see it. Maybe, you know, Mick Foley comes on and does a comedy sk- a skit show or something, right? I mean, it becomes, you know, we always, they always say Monday Night Raw is like a variety hour, so their network is going to be a variety network at that point. Side note, you know what I really, really want to see? Tuesday Night Titans on the network. I think that'll be up there eventually. That better be, because all I've ever seen of Tuesday Night Titans was the best stuff they had at my local video store, and that was not <laughs> enough. Primetime wrestling. 
That's yeah, what I was going to say, Bobby. The old gorilla stuff. Yep. They showed Tuesday Night Titans in prime time on the uh, 24-7. Oh, thanks. They better so, bring it so, up then. Yeah. I don't see uh, Cole Cabana doing that, though, sort. No? No, because if he's signed by WWE and he's put on the, the WWE network and talks, that would be good enough for fans. But what Colt Cabana does is he's a professional wrestler. And he wants to wrestle. He he is one of the guys who has that style that he he's yes. a comedic wrestler. Yes. He's not only a comedic talker. I honestly. So, he, honest. so unless you're gonna have him do like go on the WWE Network as well as go to WWE Raw or SmackDown or even NXT. Like I would like him in NXT as much as anybody. Um, but it, he wouldn't. I, I don't think he would.